right now we have Transmedia. Switching to the wouldn't it be great if you could have one compatible file and information management system and one compatible set of applications for all of your devices? Okay. And what if you could extend that compatibility to everyone you communicate, share, and work with? We set out to develop a technology that could cut through proprietary OS, hardware, software, file format, and network barriers. Wow. Uh, Glide is the complete mobile desktop. It features more than 20 advanced productivity and collaboration applications, and it also runs locally as well as online. So here's your desktop. And you're starting on a, on a Mac, but We're you also have a Mac. Windows machine and uh, I guess an iPhone here. That's right. So let's go ahead and launch some uh, widget players here first, and uh, we'll start with that. Wow, good sound. So here you have your stickies. Your little audio widget players. You're and storing this in your servers. That's correct. And who manages those? What you... uh, we have tier one hosting uh, providers and tier one bandwidth providers. So here's some different views. You can adjust your hard drive view. Wow. So I'll show you some of the productivity apps now. Here's our presentation app, which is basically like a PowerPoint type application. Achieving the goal of compatibility, we felt that it was critical to have certain things in place. One, you have to have device recognition so that you can recognize the device. Two, you have to have file transcoding so you can convert the files to work on these devices. Three, in certain instances, you need the actual application to capture that data so you can edit from all of those different locations as well, not just view the files. So we felt it was necessary to have it all. You look at the word processor very quickly. And very similarly, here's your word processor. And then this is always on the right, so you can... That's right. You can insert media. You can always email directly from uh, the uh, word processor. You can get into a group discussion meeting. Everything in Glide is rights-based. There are seven different levels of rights. You can assign view-only rights, download rights, modify rights, synchronization rights. And when you are involved in social and business networking, it takes place online as well as offline. So let's see who's in this discussion group right here. Well, there we go. There's Walt and uh, Kara. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and take a look at... Uh, so we got the Walt. There you go. And uh, so this is your profiling glide. So some of your slideshows. And you put this together. Yourself. You could put this together That's yourself, right. right? That's right. Let's look at some real-time uh, collaboration as well. Okay. So here you're basically in a real-time file sharing environment. Hmm. And uh, you can see the rights extend here to the uh, files. Uh, you can also go ahead and join the chat. And there you go. Oh, wow. And you can expand that and close you that. You can out. have four people, all, and then you can show stuff on this, yep. like you're doing. And you can actually expand this. Like this is almost like a WebEx meeting. Uh, now this is Glide locally, working on your local desktop. Well, this is a native C C++ application. So when we took our applications offline. We didn't use Google Gears or a browser plugin. We feel that the browser has limitations long term. So we've taken our applications and we coded native and apps. It's, so your entire environment is written as a local app? That's right. In terms of the consumer market, we focused on uh, subscription fees for storage as well as transaction fees from selling products in Glide. Uh, right now, Glide is advertising free. Our email client, which I should also show you, is ad free. So it's not like Gmail. And uh, as you can see here, you can share lots of files. Now, here's how you apply rights. So if I want to, for example, uh, share these f files with Walt, I could give him, for example, view-only rights or download rights. If I give him view-only rights, maybe I'll only give him the right to view the file one time. So it's really granular. It's very granular, and you can go in there and protect your content. We're giving people the tools to protect themselves and their files and their information. Right. Um, we have kids actually putting their uh, artwork into Glide, so we have wow. a lot of young kids who've been doing that. Wow, finally a place for it. There you go. So you get some fun kids' music there. Oh, yeah. That's and uh, if we go ahead and jump into uh, the portal, you'll see some really neat navigation here as now well. Now, this is all Ooh. part of your, your, your ecosystem for yes, the same is. price? Yes. If you choose, you can go into a kid's version. Is that what you're That's saying? That's right. And we've can, been, can adults it, use the kid's version? I, kind of I, like, I like the kid's version better myself. A bit, so. so you just went in through the browser? Yeah, going through the browser. And for example, there are some photos. And let's go to some uh, music here. And here we got some fun music here, so we can go ahead and launch a song. Let's go ahead and launch oh, wow. The AD iPod, you don't need it. Here you go. And the great thing is it supports over 75 phones. So Glide supports literally probably all the phones you have here. And let's go ahead and edit this photo. You're going to edit this photo on Right on the phone. And then we'll look at it online and see if we get a sense It's going to sync when you edit it. That's right. The changes will sync. So here's a photo. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, 
scroll down. Hmm. We have lots of photo effects in here. Oh. So that we go to, um, let's do something fancy here. And we're still doing this for the, the iPhone web browser. That's correct. Case. So now you have a photo editor on your iPhone. You can play Windows Media Audio and Windows Media Video on your iPhone. Uh, and you can play QuickTime movies on your Windows mobile phone. Glide will transcode those files and it's make like that world possible. world peace. You're like, it's amazing. <laughs> We're the Switzerland of technology. You can do uh, your Microsoft Word documents. Literally, we have a very powerful uh, word processor in Glide right on your iPhone, so. Mm. This works on Blackberries as well? It does, yeah. So you can go ahead and create a, a real cool document. You can underline, italicize, add, insert media. You can insert symbols. When you're done, you can export your documents to Word or PDF. Cool. Well, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.